that being type secure. Of yeah. No, but you know something that I always say, and people be looking at me crazy. Like I don't know if this because I'm from Chicago, but like I can't fuck with no nigga that work a nine to five. What I don't know fuck? why. I just need a fast money ass nigga. It don't whoa, necessarily whoa, whoa, have to be whoa. like drugs or like fr- um, fraud, but like like rapping or like dealing with media or like shit like that. Just like get you it. You want a nigga with no? So hold like, on, what? Are we, like what? if I come to you and I need some shit, I don't need you to be like, well, my check come on Friday. Fuck that. I need you to get that shit right now. Like so what I feel like it depends with the nine to five. Everything. Like if you nine to five at Burger King or some hell no. But if you nine to five at yeah, my favorite. JP Morgan or some hell yeah, because nah, I know that G. Friday check about to have multiple nah, zeros. Fuck that little bank shit. Shit, that's a fraud nigga. I might as well get a fraud nigga. Fuck. I don't know. You work in the bank too, shit, technically. Like, I don't no. know. So hold on, so if a nigga work at the bank. No, I don't want you. I'm so kidding. let's say this nigga work at the bank making five hundred thousand a year. You don't want that nigga? Mm. You can give me a banker. Fuck? Give me a banker, the, a doctor, a lawyer. Nap, you doing that shit to cover up some other shit. Not a pediatrician, shit. a specialist. If you doing that shit to surgeon. cover up some shit, like, let's say the nigga that work in the bank <laughs> sell fucking drugs. Like, I'm with it. Period. What the Girl, fuck is you? You on the, you on the movie. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> hey, sit down. <laughs> <laughs> what the? No, I just, I just need. Maya! A, that, no, I just need a hustling man. Do you want a Kit Kat? No. You tripping. No, I'm All right, what if they got a regular job, but they have side hustle is bringing in the fast cash, but it's still but stable money, But what's a regular money, so. job? Okay, okay, okay. So let's just let's put it out there. So like lawyer, a, a banker, that's, so, yeah, doctor. That, but, that's, but that's not a nine listen, to five. Listen, listen, listen. Listen, Linda. You really so look, working. So you, got a nigga, so you got a nigga that's making 500000 a year, but he don't got no, he don't sell drugs and no shit like that. But you got a nigga that's making maybe 25000 a year, but he's selling drugs and shit on the side. It depends on his, no, it's not, you can't compare that. Like you can't, this is what I mean. I, I really think I fuck with the niggas type of mentality. The reason why I don't say a nine to five because a nine to five is you know you getting your check every other Friday, right? And it could be the most basic job. Lawyers, doctors and shit, they don't work nine to five. So I'm not saying like I wouldn't want no nigga like that. But I need a nigga with a hustle mentality. I have a very strong hustle mentality. If you're not on the same page as me, I can't fuck with you. Like I need to be like, I need 50000 by next Friday. What you finna go do to get this shit? Oh, well, I gotta wait till the, the check drop. Like, no, nigga, fuck you. No, mm-mm. Nigga made 500000 year. I'm pretty sure he got 50000 Right, but what if you don't? You can't fuck with me. You tripping. I'm tripping. <laughs> I, I feel like that's cool for right now because I'm still young and I feel like, yeah, bring me all the adrenaline. But then again, I know I want something like real stable because it's, it's a certain lifestyle I want to live. It's a certain but lifestyle I'm not I'm necessarily to. saying that I need a nigga that, that sells drugs or do fraud. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is I need a nigga with a hustle mentality. And if you work a nine to five as a bank teller at Wells Fargo, you can't do shit for me. Okay, but, but yeah, but not a bank teller. Let's get a VP. Let's but get a I senior vice president. I ain't never asked a nigga you, for you Say, if he can't give me fifty thousand dollars, what are you gonna do to go? That's, what are you gonna I'm, do? But, to but go that's get what I'm saying. I can go get this shit, but I want to see if we're equal. We supposed to be equal. We a I team. See, I see what you're saying. You so what job we have team. that's not nine to five? That's still. Hey man, we're not gonna incriminate nobody on this motherfucker. Like I'm just that's saying, not, that's not. Like, like, she said, no, no drugs, like no fraud. Instance, like for instance, a lawyer, right? They get cases consistently, but they not nine to five. They they on their time, right? Mm-hmm. That's what I mean. I don't need no nigga literally scanning shit like waiting on the motherfucking seven fifty an hour. No, oh, I'm not doing that shit. So I don't need that shit. Like yeah. I don't need nothing like that. Mm. I don't, but I don't have anything against a nigga that does fraud or sell drugs. I don't. But one thing I will say is, if you choose to do that shit and you play your fucking self. Whoa, so I was just gonna say this. So if that nigga get yammed up doing some fraud shit to help you out, you out? If you helping me, no, I'm not out. No, you I don't I don't encourage fraud fraud, nor do I encourage you selling drugs. (laughs) But if that's what you wanna do, that's what you wanna do. But let me say something. There's (laughs) definitely ways of making money without you doing that. But if you so overly wrapped up in shit, I know niggas that do that shit to support their business. So they they business is flourishing, but they did that to get to where they are. That's different. But if you just doing that shit around the clock because that's the only way that you can make money and you get locked up, no, nigga, you dumb as fuck. Now, if you doing that shit and you don't get caught, but it's for, like, you trying to, like, launch your brand or something, that's different because that's how you know how to get it out the mud. I ain't got no problem with it. Like, no, that's not. Basically, but if you, you just want love somebody, somebody that always know how to right, find a way. Get basically. your money, period. Yeah. Yeah, you you know, and if, you're, if you down bad, you get fired, you, I know it's still going to be exactly, income coming through. Period. Mm. 
And yeah. you okay with however you gotta do it, but necessarily not yeah, just promoting be smart it, about it. Basically, period. if you stupid, fuck you. Mm. Okay. I can feel that because I feel like. I feel like my daddy was like that. Not selling drugs or nothing like that. But I say, damn, you gonna snitch on your daddy? Yeah, no. Nah, <laughs> like, not like selling drugs or nothing illegal or nothing, but just like having a certain mindset exactly. because of where you come from. A and then you transition a, a until provider. like elevating it without having to do illegal ways or whatever. And that's, I, I feel that. But. Like on some, like on some, not even not trying to be funny, but on some like power shit like ghosts. Like, of course he was doing all that shit, but he was trying to get somewhere. That's what I mean. It's okay to do this, to get to this. But if you just doing this and it's all that you want to do, then it's like, no nigga, because you will never get out of this little box. Like, I don't yeah. want you to be in this box forever. Now, if you want to do fraud or sell drugs to get to, to being this person, then that's fine. Just be smart about it. Like, period. If you smart about it and you get locked up, I'm, I'm 100% behind your back. But if you being dumb and all you want to do is sell drugs and you get locked up by niggas, like, fuck, you being stupid. I ain't got time for it. I'm going to tell you that from jump. Like, don't look at me for fucking hot chips on your books because nigga ain't that. <laughs> Shout out to the straight solo clips this episode. You want some? Ooh. Yeah. Okay, so that's over. Ooh, gracious goodness. You know what? I'm going to need you all to help me with this video because this video took me through so many emotions. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Let me get started with my intros. I am Tanya TKO. I'm a self-love specialist from TanyaTKO.com. I help you learn how to love yourselves and each other. On this channel, we use viral video topics as teachable moments in our own lives for dating, relationships, and self-love. So listen, this video right here, thank you to all of the people who sent this to me. This was my first time watching the full clip, and I do think that watching the full clip is important for context because I didn't get the context until after I saw the full clip because I had a preconceived notion before I saw this, and now I have a different kind of point of view after. So she says she needs a fast money ass nigga, right? Listen, just... I have to listen. What, what can I say about this? First of all, she says she's looking for a nigga. I think that that's part of the issue right there. There's so much going on in this video. I'm telling you, I'm really going to need you to help me out with this. Hold on. You know what? As a matter of fact, let me, let me pause the video. Come back with my thoughts because this is a lot to process. Hold on. All right. You know what? I took a few moments to think about this and come back. And I'm still at a loss. I really don't know what to make of this. So for those of listen, I, I just I, I I'm I'm stunned because it's like money doesn't come fast to anybody. You all know that I'm a lifetime entrepreneur. You know that I had a skincare business that was thriving, that I sell and I sell my vitamin E once a year. And so FYI to you all, now is the once a year time that I sell my vitamin E. So it is on my website. Shipments begin shipping in May in the order that they were received. So if you're on my mailing list, you got the notification first. If you want flawless skin like mine, this is the face of no makeup, not a foundation, not a nothing. Ah, nothing, nothing. Just it's clear skin. <laughs> ah! So Money doesn't come fast. It's like, you know, I remember there was this woman in Hollywood who used to say, it takes 10 years to become an overnight success. And it takes a lot of dedication and drive and grind to be able to get to the other side. And I think that she's conflating two different things right now. She's actually, I think she's conflating three different things. She's having ambition. She's conflating money. She's also conflating money coming fast because, and then also having large cash resources and being the type of person who is just going to go dive those resources into a into another person a person that you're not married to a person that can leave you if you don't dive those resources into it so listen now listen i've made money fast before and i know that fast money goes just as fast as you get it because you have that mentality that oh i could go out there and get it and look so so, so, so listen for those of you who know i worked in i worked in strip clubs in Atlanta. I worked as a waitress and even as a waitress, I was making fast money. I could pull in so much dough each evening because you just, you sling those drinks, you get your tips, you get the bottles of champagne and you bring them out and all of that. 
right? I've made money fast. But the money that endures is the money that comes from a plan. The money that comes from following your passion, from doing something that you're passionate about and nurturing that until it grows. So she wants a man who has that cash on hand right now and willing to give it to a woman like her with all of those things. Like I have my earphones in and you hear her, she's sitting there and all of this stuff is jingling all around her. And she got these big gigantic flutterbys on her eyes and she got the, 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 the finger comb and all of this other stuff. And she got her Chicago go talk and all of this and the type of man listen like some of you talked about this with the whole Nicki Minaj thing when we talked <laughs> listen we talked about it some of you brought it to my attention what type of man are you going to be able to attract with what it is and how it is that you present you all know that I just started matchmaking and in matchmaking one of the key questions that you must ask a person is what qualities do you possess that you're looking for in a mate what type of qualities is the type of person that you're looking for looking for in a mate and do you have those qualities yourself so the type of man that she's interested in, from what it is that I can gather, if I put my matchmaking hat on right now, is a person who used to street hustle and parlayed that into a legitimate business, but if crap hits the fan, he knows that he can go back out there and hustle, right? It seems like that's the type of man that she's interested in. And okay, I mean... How big is the pool? How big is the pool of men who, one, have made it onto the other side of that? Because I think that's the dream for a lot of people who hustle. That, oh, one day when I make a certain amount, I'm going to stop this hustle and then become legitimate. And then once you do become legitimate, how do you stay legitimate? How do you, how do you rise up the ranks in legitimacy? And as a man who has gone from there and has now become legitimate, is the type of woman that you're looking for the type of woman who's going to be like, well, nigga, you know, you need to hit the effing streets if worse comes to worse. Because when she says that she can get $50,000 right now, look, I don't know who this girl is. I don't know if she's in reality TV and she knows how to how to, how to to secure um, some sort of deal. But when I'm thinking about it, what type of way can a black woman in America go and grab $50,000 right now just on GP? What, what type of way? And the only thing that I can think of is, the only thing I can think of is really stripping, prostituting, what? I, I don't know. Is she going to invent some sort of software overnight? I don't know. Does she seem like an, a software inventor to you? I don't know, but I don't want to insult the young lady because like I said, I do not know who she is. She says that she would stay with the man if he got locked up trying to get the money for her. Based on the conversation that she had here in this broadcast, do you think that she would stay? Honestly, I, I personally, I don't think that she would stay. The other young lady was trying to talk some sense into her like, yeah, you know, listen, if he is a banker or someone and he ha and he's making good money, yeah, I can get with that. And then the other woman, she came back and she was like, well, you know, lawyers, they don't wait on checks. So I think one of the issues is waiting on the check. But if you're making a certain amount of money, you have savings. You, If you're responsible, you have savings. You have 401ks, you have investments, you have weight. Because I remember when I was backpacking through the Middle East and then I ended up going through Turkey over to Greece and then into Italy. And I remember once that euro got on my ass, I ran out of money. And even with the amount of money that I had then, it still took a few days for me to make the type of money that I wanted to get liquid. You know, especially if this happens on a Friday, you know, I had to wait until I had to wait a certain amount of business days for my money to become available and be liquid. So it's like a smart person. How much money are they really going to have liquid on hand when we start talking about net worth and really being smart with positioning your money and your investments? I don't know. I just this whole situation is very confusing to me because it sounded like she was kind of walking it back. Like, I don't know. What is it that you gathered from this? What I gathered from it from listening to the whole thing is that 
you know, for many of us black women, we really don't know. It's like, you know, as women, we are naturally programmed to be attracted to men who are successful. But I feel like as black women, we really don't know what it takes for that type of success to really come. And, and you know what, it may not even be just black women. I think that a lot of people in general, that they really don't know what it takes to really have, hold and nurture true success. And it's like there are a lot of us who want that money to come fast and we expect for success. Like there's a there's a diagram on that, that went viral a few years ago and it was like what we think success looks like and then it had like this line and all this squiggly stuff of what success actually looks like and there's so many of us who are so hard on ourselves because we're like oh i've been doing this for so long why am i not successful oh this i've been etc cetera, etc cetera. why is this not coming but it's like I remember when I was living in my car in 2016, the amount of people that counted me out because where it is that I was didn't look like success to them. And there were, listen, I lost fans. Uh, well, yeah, I lost people who were fans, but I didn't lose supporters. I didn't lose people who were there and down for what it is that they saw inside of me that was outside of whatever exists here presently. And as a matter of fact, you know what, here. I feel like now is the time that I have to talk about my self-love affirmations journal. So this is my book that I'm selling on Amazon right now. It is an amazing book. This is one of my, my stock books right here. I have my own book inside my bedroom. So here, this is an affirmations workbook where you rewrite affirmations over and over again. I use the most powerful affirmations that I use to help me rise out of the displacement that I was in when I was living in my car and everything was bad and even I couldn't see a way out of it. I use this, this book to be able to help me rise out of that situation and you know, there's so many of us who are in situations where we don't really know how we're going to get onto the other side of it. We don't know how we get from where it is that we are to success because some of us have never really had enduring success and we don't realize that sometimes we have divots and sometimes we need to rise out of those divots. And so this young lady, she seems to not really understand what it really takes to be successful. And so she wants like who... And the crazy part about it is that she's she's most likely talking about wanting to date a black man. And when you look at the net worth of black people in this country, the number of black men who have $50,000 on hand in cash right now and are willing and able to give it to a woman like her, she really narrows her pool down very much. And it's like, I just... I just, I don't know. There's a lot to think about here. So I'm gonna leave this portion of the video for you to tell me your POV because I really, I wanna hear from you. Is she being unrealistic? Is she being street or ghetto or hood or however you wanna put it? Is she, does she, is she thinking clearly? Is she just not able to articulate what it is that she's really trying to say? Was she saying something that you heard that was different than what I interpreted or what other people may interpret from this video? I really want to hear your point of view because a lot of this left me personally confused because it seems like she's kind of mixed up. And listen, I'm going to say this. Me personally, I don't want a nine to five man either. It's, that's just not my thing. I'm an entrepreneur. I'm a lifetime entrepreneur. I have never had a full-time job. And me personally, I the full-time mentality is different than the entrepreneurial mentality. And this is why when I was in my car and I was living in my car, most of the people who were commenting out felt that the issue was one of finances. Like, oh, money, you, 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 you have to have money. But for a person who has an entrepreneurial mind, it's not just money. It's really how do you take this investment? How do you take this resource? How do you take this capital and shift that into something that's going to bring in more capital? And for me personally, when stuff hits the fan, I don't want a person in my corner who's going to be like, well, that's why you should have had a nine to five. That's why you'll go get, get that circular and start looking at, at openings, the help wanted. I don't, I don't need a person in my inner circle. Also, 
you become like the five closest people to you. And I do have nine to fivers in my in my life. I have friends who are nine to fivers, W twoers, however you want to put it. And their mentality is very different in terms of credit in terms of personal power and really creating the type of life that you want, taking challenges and risks, etc. Me personally, I just don't have the tolerance for the street life. I just I have no interest in street or hood type men. Me personally, I'm attracted to men who have a certain type of ambition. That's me personally. I'm attracted to ambition because money can come and go. But that ambition, that ambitious spirit, that ambitious nature will have you out there creating a business out of washing people's windows. The enterprise is different than being self-employed. When you are entrepreneurial, you are able to use human resource to be able to magnify your ability to be able to make money because you are leveraging the things and the people and the, the processes around you to be able to, to create income me personally i'm most interested and most compatible with men who are entrepreneurial and the mindset is different and it's something that you you see and you know and you you know it when you see it regardless of what is in their bank account at the moment so there's like there's so many men out there who are like oh if only she believed in me if only she gave me a chance and you have no track record. There's no track record of you ever really ever having endeavors that were successful. I remember when I had my skincare business and I had employees that were working for me. I remember there was like, oh, what's special about her? I, I could do this. I, I, I could, I, I could run a business. It's my dream to be an entrepreneur. I could do, I could do, I could run this company, right? But when it was Friday night at five, well, four fifty nine p.m., they started looking at their their watch. How do I get out of here? When Sandy came and there was no electricity, oh, I, I can't come to work. When, when, <laughs> listen, 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 when the, when customs held up the loofah that were grown in Egypt and sent over to us, they oh, how, what, what, we're not going to have, so it's like the buck stops with you. Being an entrepreneur is not like being a, a nine to five worker. I have people in my life who need to depend on that check. They need to depend on something, a sure thing coming in. And it's like, there's a lot of people out there who think that they can do X, Y, Z. Because when I was, listen, when I was in business, I, I worked 20 hours a day. I had the regular 12 hours that I worked for the business from, listen, from 6 in the morning till 6 p.m. when that UPS guy came and picked up the last package. And sometimes he wouldn't pick up that package till 8 p.m. And then I was on to my second shift where I would eat my, my nutritious meals to help keep me healthy. And then I would be on the phone with China all night talking about packaging and caps and thread. And the, the thread of caps and the viscosity and the pump and the actuator and all this other stuff. I would be on the phone then. I'd be in email all night long. And then I'd catch two hours of sleep and then wake back up at six in the morning. This is what I did when I was entrepreneuring. So it's like... There are a lot of people out there who think that they can do it. They think they can do it. Like giving birth to a book is not the easiest thing out there. And there's so look how many of you out there have ideas for books that God is trying to birth through you. However, you're you're not willing to allow yourself to create the book. There's always these types of excuses. Perfection, listen, perfection to, is, is the cousin of procrastination. I said it, I said it. But on that note, I feel like we, we've gone off on a tangent. I really wanna hear your thoughts about this video. I'm at a loss for words personally. I don't even know what to make of this whole thing. And this is how many of us end up in a vicious cycle, oh, dating, the same thing over and over and over expecting a different result and so i so 
I, I wish the best to this sister right here and what it is that she's looking for. More power to her. I want to hear your thoughts below. Tanya TKO and I'm out. Go out there and love one another. But most importantly, what? That's right. Love yourself. And part of loving yourself is, you know what? Part of loving yourself is being realistic about what it is that you need to thrive in a relationship and as a person, what feeds you, what nourishes you and becoming super clear with that because I had a feeling that this young lady was kind of working out her ideas as she was talking so that it seemed like she was saying one thing and I'm sure the first part of this video is being misconstrued by many, but what she's actually saying may be something else. So that's one of the, the benefits of working with a coach like me is that you're able to flesh out what it is that you actually truly want and need because all of the answers we have are inside of us but we just need a little bit of skill to be able to kind of flesh that out and help it and help give birth to that in real life just like your books out there all right so listen tanya tko and i am out peace thank you for watching make sure you thumbs up the video make sure that you subscribe and hit the bell notifications to be notified of new videos leave a comment below and come over to tanyatko.com to subscribe to my personal mailing list send me a message or find out more about matchmaking i'll see you on the other side peace